angels, welcome back. I hope that you've had a really, really good week. Uh, so this week we're looking at all of you lot that are in separation. Uh, I'm going to do a third party one either next week or the week after for those of you that your person is with someone else. But this week I thought I would concentrate on those of you that are kind of having the distance between you and your person. Uh, so those of you in separation, what's going to happen next? Look at what their feelings are, what's kind of going on. Um, so, 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 this is... This is deck number one, the animals, if you want to see, animals, deck number one, and this is deck number two, this is me, me, Alice in Wonderland one, okay, uh, so my guide is actually saying, can you go to where the pictures are drawing you, so let me just show up two random cards so you can see, okay, deck number one, deck number two, go towards the picture, we're working with kind of the, the colours and where your energy is pulling towards the pictures this week, number one, number two. Think about you, think about your person, where your energy fits. This one's just got dead tingly. Okay, so let's go. So, 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 um, as always, you know how this works. It works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of situation. So if your person is with someone else and you're not talking, etc., etc., um, it will pull out all your, go into all your mutual energy, pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. That's how me and my guides work. So, deck number one, here we go. So can we get into the collective energy of deck number one? Or the people that is watching deck number one? And can, think about your person, can we get into the thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes of your people? Um, so the first thing that's kind of coming through my right ear is we've got um, a song by one of my... One of my, I'm, I'm, I like my rock music, but it's one of my uh, more heavy metal music. So if you're not a heavy metal fan, you're not going to like it. Um, but if you discount the heavy metal and you listen to the lyrics, it's My Curse by Kill Switch Engage. Um, it's kind of how you lot are feeling at the moment. And also actually how your person is feeling. Let me just get past that block. I've just got a little block. Can you just clear that block? Here? Thank you. Okay. Let's do all possibilities, probabilities, chances, chances and closes of deck number one, separation. You guys do feel very heavy, you do feel very sad, you feel like you've almost got the weight of your world on your shoulders and at the moment you, you guys can't seem to get it out of your thought process. This person is weighing heavily on your heart, they're weighing heavily on your mind and you just, you're just thinking, would you just hurry up, come on, just get in touch, let's just do something, let's get this sorted one way or another almost, even though you're wanting it to be let's make it work in the right direction you're getting to that point that you're thinking you know i just need some either some closure or i need this to move forward in the right direction because this is driving me mad this this ghosting or no contact etc etc so can you tell me what's going to happen with deck number one and their person separation what's happening what's going to happen next for this separation period He's okay, he's okay. What's going to happen next with the separation period? Four, what do you want? Nine, five. I haven't used this deck in ages. We have six, seven, eight. These cards are good. These cards are actually really good. Nine. Okay, so you guys that are in separation, your period of separation, your, your period of no contact, your period of nothing really happening is coming towards a close. Regardless of your individual situations, like I said, if they are with someone else, um, that contact will still come in towards you. So you have a three of cups for your celebration. Um, you've been kind of trying to rally around your friends for a little bit of support. Now some of them, um, I spoke about this before, but some of your friends have got your best interests at heart, but they're not very good at um, kind of listening to what you need and what you need, what, it's my washer, what you need and what you want. So 
if your friends are kind of saying to you, um, leave them alone, don't go there, don't do this, don't do that, just go, it, you know, like we said in the last reading, it's a point of view. Try not to get too engrossed in that point of view um, because you are your own person. You can make up your own mind. You don't need people to influence those choices and those decisions. So your period of no contact is going to be coming to a close. Some of you, this is in a couple of weeks. Some of you, this is in a couple of months. Uh, your longest time, roughly, between you all feels to be about four to five months that's your mutual timing and the longest mutual timing the shortest mutual timing is about two to three weeks for this period of no contact to come to a close um obviously that's your collective timing so if you need to look at individual timings just let me know so what's currently happening with your person is that they are watching what you are up to so a lot of you um, they are kind of keeping their eyes on you dipping into your social media seeing what you're up to kind of looking for clues to see if anything is going on um, and what they need to know and as you can see this little fart the king of swords over here this little jaguar is kind of peeping out of the the plant so he or she remember never sexually orientated or gender specific so they are kind of peeking in to see what's going on there's also this kind of sexual energy which is ruling over them at the moment they it's almost as if they aren't entirely sure what they want from you but they equally don't want anyone else to have you at the moment so they have this little bit of jealousy going on actually some of you it's quite a lot of jealousy and this is why they're keeping tabs on you this is why they're wondering what you're up to they are frightened that they might lose you for good they have got this kind of fear-based energy holding around that and that's what's going to make this movement coming back towards you your person there's a lot of court cards in this so there's a lot of people influencing this situation all of these are court cards You've got five court cards, which are people orientated. So it's potential that there's kids involved in this situation, potential that there's other women or other men involved in this situation, potential you guys are with other people. And this is kind of a bit of an influence on the situation. And again, it's why it's important that you don't pay attention to anyone's judgments and opinions and you choose what is right for you. Your person has got very, very strong emotions towards you. They do really care about you. They've been trying to think about what they could do about the situation. Some of them have left it quite a long period of time um, and they're not quite sure if there is a way back to you um, I don't like to give personal messages out on this reading but the name Mark is coming into this so you know who you are um, I'm gonna just throw that out there so if the person's called Mark or your name is Mark I just heard it really really clearly so we'll throw that out at you um, there is going to be an offer made there is two types of offers that are coming in. One is going to be slow making movement offers and one is going to be a more heart centered offer towards you because they have realized that they have this strong bond with you that they can't seem to cut. They're kind of trying to foresee the future at the moment and they are still acting a little bit on logic rather than their emotions. Reason for that is because when they start acting on emotions, they feel like they're going into this big whirlwind, like this black hole, like they can't seem to find the wood through the trees and your person is struggling with the situation as well as you. And with that song, My Curse, it's kind of coming into this as well. They want to pull away. They could really do with just going, no, you know, that, how they feel. It's like, well, you know, it was probably best if we leave it. Things haven't gone to plan but they can't break away from it that easily you know that otherwise they wouldn't be watching your social media otherwise they wouldn't be thinking of ways that they could come back to you otherwise they wouldn't be thinking about how it could work is there potential options what could they do about the situation so your no period of no contact will come to a close um, what they will do about the situation is they will go with the flow of it whilst they make these offers towards you probably about meeting up or going for coffee or going for dinner or having a bit of fun whilst these make they make these offers towards you um, it's going to be down to you guys if you choose to accept them or not but that period of no contact will come to a close offers will come in they will go with the flow of it they're not going to suddenly um, tell you all their emotions and if they haven't told you their emotions before don't expect personality transplant overnight okay and um, they will need to build up some level of trust with you and the situation to be able to express how they feel about you again um, but you also have the wheel of fortune and the sun the cards are brilliant and um, which would be things turning in your favor and your happy outcomes the sun is also the masculine energy card so with the masculine energy kind of coming through here and with the wheel of fortune it's things turning in your masculine's favor and remember never sexually orientated gender for specific but majority of you watching will be a more feminine energy and if you're a masculine energy watching um it looks like things are going to be turning in your favor in the next few months um, so that is really what is going to happen. The, the cards, the cards are really good. 
I like it when that happens. The cards are really, really good. Positive outcomes, things moving in the right direction, offers made, celebrations coming through, sneaking up on you, watching what you're doing on social media, sexual energy pulling um, them back towards you. Part of the reason why there is such a strong sexual energy between the two of you is because of the connection type that you two have. So whether you're twin flames, whether you're higher vibrational soulmates, if you aren't just your run-of-the-mill Tom and Harry or Jane and... Mark, you're not, oh Mark's back again, Jane and Mark, you're not that run of the mill kind of couple, you have got a lot of intense energies between the two of you and with those intense energies, um, the, the sexual chemistry becomes comes forward and that's what can lead to the tension, the aggravation, the jealousy, the anger, it's because the two of you have got such a strong bond with each other, you've got such a strong pull towards each other and you've got such a strong love towards each other that it does pull back towards you and it can come forward as sexual because they don't know how else to handle the energies. Um, they're going to go with the flow of the situation. They won't necessarily talk about their emotions straight away, but there is heart-centered energy here for them kind of coming back towards you. They do love you. Two offers coming in, one romantic, one more based on stability. So they might say to you, um, you know, if there was someone else, for example, we'll do that properly in the, in the next couple of weeks. But they might say, look, I've been thinking about it. We can have a go at this. It's going to take me such and such amount of time. Um, but I will make that offer towards you of this romantic new beginning. Or um, if they're not with someone else and you're with someone else, kind of the same thing, you know, they'll come towards you and say, look, I can offer you this, I can offer you that. What is it that you want to do about the situation? Stability and heart-centered energy moves towards you to express their emotions. Um, they're going to struggle to express them. They're going to go with the flow of it because they don't know how these offers are going to be perceived. They don't know if you're going to reject them or ex accept them. So they're just going to kind of stand on the wall a little bit, stay in, the, stay in the background, watch what kind of comes on, and that period of separation will come to a close. Now, if your person has been an a-hole to you, and a bit of a D-I-C-K-H-E-A-D, um, if they've been one of them to you, you will have your chance to have your say with them as well. You'll be able to say, look, you know what, I really didn't like the way you treated me, you didn't treat me with any respect, you will be the person to step into that queen or king of swords energy and say, you know what, if this is going to happen again, this has got to be on my terms because I'm not going through what we've been through before. You can't just throw me to the wayside and leave me and then just think you can wander back into my life. And that's going to be down to you guys, what you choose to do about that situation, but you will have your chance to have your say. They are thinking about you. Um, you kind of, again, like I said, they're trying to, in a way, they're trying to get shot of you, which means they're trying not to think about you, but it's not working. It's kind of like they're pulling against their soul. Their soul's going, oh, I love me, I love her, I, or him, I, I want to be with him. This heart pull's really strong, this sexual energy is really strong, this chemistry is really strong, and because they've got these fear-based energies, they're kind of trying to pull away from it, trying to pull away from their soul. It won't work. It, it never will. It never works when you try and do stuff like that because you're going against your kind of calling as such. So they will come back towards you. Um, there is a lot of confusion around this deck. There is a lot of stuff that needs to be spoken about and there is stuff that needs to be resolved, issues that need to be resolved. Um, you don't want to, when you guys do have that chance to communicate and talk, you're not going to be wanting to dig up old ground again. You're going to need to rewrite the whole thing. Okay, for this to work, you guys have got to have that tower, let everything fall down and rebuild it in the direction that you both want. Don't settle for less than what you're worth though, you know. And um, as well, Spirit is saying, make sure that you pay attention to their actions and not their words. Because anyone can tell you that they love you, but you need to really see it from them. And you'll see it by the offerings that they make towards you, what they say, what they do, how they treat you. Do they open the car door for you? Do they, do they open a normal door for you? Do they order you a drink? etc etc pay attention to the, their actions and not their words but your period of separation is quickly coming to a close for a majority of you some of you guys it is going to take a little bit longer um but do know that they can't just escape this you know it's not just going to go over overnight they can't do that okay and it, it is gonna period is coming to a close that's step number one. Okay, let's do step number two, 1408. So, hello my beauties, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on. So, you're working on 
the strongest mutual energy between you all for all you lot that are in separation and are not in contact with your person. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the future and see what your collective energy is on that. And if you want to book a private reading, I'll put all the details in the description for you. Okay, think about your person. So I've got a song coming through my left ear this time, it came through my right ear last time. Uh, this, you guys are getting Fly Before You Fall, um, I can't remember who it's by. It's a song, um, it's quite a spiritual song, I find it a spiritual song. Um, because it, it says you're a tower of strength when you're breaking down. Obviously, we know about the tower card, which is when everything collapses. Um, it just says, through the walls, I can hear you cry. I think her name begins with a C, but I could be completely wrong on that. Um, have a listen, but don't listen to it if you're in a bit of an emotional place, because you're going to be bawling your ball. Um, but Spirit want you to know. The tower's just staring at me. Um... Spirit want you to know that they are there for you. Okay, you're not alone, even though you're feeling alone. There's a lot of family um, as a whole with your energy, guys. There's a lot of family that are stepping into your energy. Um, there's a lot of your your nearest and dearest that are coming forward uh, to kind of soothe you a little bit. And, you know, sometimes if you... There's one of you specifically that's crying and screaming because you really want to communicate with your dad. I've just got a clairvoyant image of that and your dad isn't here. Um, but you need to know, it's really hard when there's so many of you watching, but you need to know that he strokes your hair as you're crying on the bed. Uh, you're on the side of the bed, you've got your head in your hands. Um, you will tell when spirit is here, as all of you guys as a whole, you will tell when spirit are here um, or stroking you because it almost feels like a really faint touch across your hand. Um, I get it across my hair as my grandma or my my other, other people's grandparents like touch my head and like my loved one's grandparents they touch my head and it feels like little butterflies kind of going up and down um so just be aware of that you guys even though you're feeling alone and you're kind of in that mist of desperation you're feeling very very low very very vulnerable very very sad um your family are sweeping around you as well as your guides and angels for a lot of you they are sweeping around you when you're not alone Okay, I've just had a clairvoyant image of someone writing something, like it feels to be a letter to someone and they've gone and buried it in the garden. What they, you, the individual person that's done that, you need to know that that is going to come into manifestation, whatever you've put on that letter. Okay, so whether it's bad or whether it's good, that's going to come into manifestation. So if you're, if you aren't happy with your letter, go and change it to what you do want or what you don't want. Okay. Individual messages on, on collective readings are quite complicated sometimes. Right, let's get going. Think about your person. Can we get into the collective energy of the person? The people watching, those of them in separation. The thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, the thought processes of their people. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of their people as well. Yeah, this is a very emotional deck. I almost feel like I could just, my, my eyes could just water. Okay, can you tell me what's going to happen with these guys in separation? Deck number two. What's going to happen with these guys? You're feeling really quite defeated. A lot of you are feeling quite defeated by the whole thing. There is such a strong love that you have for your person, but you're just feeling that it's no good at the moment. You're feeling like you've been let down. You're feeling like you've been betrayed. You're feeling like they've gone behind your back and, and deliberately gone to hurt you. you you're in a bit of a, a heartbroken, defeated, devastated place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's going to happen? So with you guys, I'll show you the overall outcome first, okay, it's the same outcome as step number one, which is quite bizarre, but I'll show you the sun, okay, so this as your collective energy is a positive outcome at the end of all of this, there is going to be a light at the end of the tunnel, it's a longer road with deck number two, okay, it's not going to be quite so easy. So what's kind of coming forward first of all is that there is this heartbreak, there is this devastation, you guys are feeling totally wounded at this moment in time. Um, there's also jealousy issues, there's also trust issues, there's also abandonment issues, more for your people, abandonment issues. Um, and you're feeling like you did absolutely everything you could till you couldn't do it anymore. 
and then it's just gone like that. It's like your world has just kind of walked away from you and you're left standing there stranded, unsure on how you're meant to progress with the situation. You do feel lied to, you do feel deceived, you do feel like you've been took for a bit of a, kind of, a, it sounds a bit harsh, but a bit of a joke. It isn't that way, that is just the way your thoughts are perceiving it because you actually have, you know, you kind of, from your side of things, which is completely understandable, you've seen how they've acted, you've seen what they've done, you've seen how it's kind of unraveled, and then they've gone, and they've left you kind of picking up the pieces, I just got, and I'm pick, and I'm picking up the pieces, not that I can sing, now you're gone, I'm picking up, is that Paloma Faith, picking up the pieces, and um, that's like basically how you guys are feeling, that you are picking up the pieces from this heartbreaking, devastating relationship, and you don't really know what's happened, it's almost like it, it's just gone, like that it's just gone and you don't know what to do about it your person to a certain extent is in avoidance behavior at the moment which is why it's going to take a lot longer to fix um not like massively massively amounts of time but the periods of separation that are longer between the two of you this is where you guys currently are and um, you seem to be watching their social media, you seem to be watching what they're up to, you seem to be over analysing everything because you guys are looking for answers. Spirit is saying please don't over analyse, please don't overthink because you're, ad you're adding um, a lot of what you feel is facts and you're coming up with this answer when in reality it's not, you aren't seeing it how it's actually going on, okay? Um, which is understandable, you know, you've seen the pieces of it, you're trying to build it back into some kind of shape but you're just seeing what they want you to see or what you want to see. You're not seeing beyond that. You know, you're not seeing what's actually happened. You aren't involved in this person's life at this moment in time. You are in their heart as they are in your heart. Um, but don't add what you think they are up to to get the answers to what you think is going on, okay? Wait for the facts. Don't make fiction into reality because you'll manifest it. You've got a few sevens popping up, um, and if you are seeing seven, 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 or you're going to start seeing seven, 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 this is a card. The, these numbers are about releasing the fears. Okay, so again, it's this kind of fear-based energy stepping forward. You are creating your own fears. You're creating your own. Um, low vibration because you're feeling crappy which is understandable but just be conscious of it if you can just try to um keep yourself distracted you know so you don't sit there and scream and cry and things like that to ease the pain the best thing to do is to just try and distract yourself it will only work for like a certain amount of time but if you can you know it gets easier as time progresses all right and um, so your person is thinking about you they do still have this heart-centered energy towards you. They realize that they haven't handled things in the best way. They realize that they've acted quite childishly um, and that they, they almost feel that at this moment in time they can't give you what you want, which is why they've kind of done this runner. Um, it's like they are blocking their own heart at the moment. Even though they have these feelings for you, they're blocking it because they have a lot of issues. Um, it's not just romance stuff though, and stuff that it, you know, romance stuff. It's stuff that's happened in childhood that's being trans, transcended, transcended maybe into reality. You know, now they have a lot of fear-based energy that they're not good enough. That things have always gone wrong for them, and they don't know how to progress it. Um, what the right thing to do is they realize how they've treated you they realize they haven't treated you right and they're trying not to think about you they're trying to push it to the back of their mind but you are there you are there and it's giving them a bit of a headache you'll be happy to know it's giving them a headache they are sad about the situation as well they felt that they couldn't go on at that moment in time how it was unraveling between the two of you some of them you know split this up into a few things some people of your people felt very under pressure. Some of your people felt that you needed something from them right there and right now and they couldn't give it to you. Some people want to, some of your people want to be with you but they felt that it's just not the right time because they aren't in the right mental headspace. And rather than kind of talking to you about it, a lot of you guys, rather than talking to you about it, they've just kind of shut the door on you. But at the same time, whilst they have shut the door on you, they've also kept it open because they haven't told you what's going on, okay? So if they haven't given you any reason or excuses as to why they've just suddenly gone ghost, that's because they can still come back towards you. If they have shut the door on you and they say goodbye, um, know that you are still kind of playing havoc in their head and it will come to a point where this havoc is going to um, 
make them want to reach out to you. Now, if you are chasing them, please stop, okay? Because if you telling them that you love them, they already know how you feel. Whether they believe it or not is, is kind of down to them. But if you keep chasing them, you're going to back them into the corner and you might push them over the edge. So please be very, very conscious of that. Um, as I say to people, the egg does not chase the sperm. And I know we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but let the sperm come to you. If you chase, if you are chasing sperm, or whatever the equivalent is, if you are chasing after them, what's going to happen is they're going to just feel this immense pressure from you. And if they're already feeling under pressure and they've, they've kind of left you alone, don't, don't put yourself into a place where you're going to feel vulnerable and be like checking your phone to see if they've messaged or not. It's not going to be any good for you. Step into your power. Keep yourself occupied. And this period of time is just, it will ease up. This period of separation will ease up. Now your overall outcomes kind of going over here. We've got the King of Cups. We've got the Sun and you've got your victory. Um, and in between that we have the hier Hierophant. Hierophant. Let's call him the Hierophant. Hierophant. Um, so your victory is kind of at the end of this, but it's like you're going for a bit of a journey at the moment with this process. Um, reasons why is because a lot of you, and you're not going to like this, but a lot of you are more spiritual. And you know where spirit and, and the universe kind of works is if we ever need to help people that have been in our situations, we have to experience them ourselves. That's why, I've, you know, for all of you lot reading, I've been in every, pretty much every situation that all you guys have been in, okay, from all angles. So just keep that at the back of your mind. They need you to experience things because it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And I know that sounds cruel and I know, I know it's kind of gonna be, you're feeling like it's a bit of a curse. But your end goal is still there. You know, you still have this outcome at the end of it. It is going to take a bit of time to get there. Is there a mutual timing on it? Um, you've got a seven, you've got a 10, and you've got a two. So there isn't a collective timing on that but it's it's between you all it's about seven months to two years <laughs> so there isn't really a mutual timing on it um if you want to look at individual timings just give me a shout your period of separation will come to a close they will come back towards you regardless of your situations um but you've got to go through the journey of it all first you know there's a lot to be learned from this process and you guys are learning who you are as a person. You're learning what you want, how you can cope, what the best thing is for you. And a lot of you guys have kind of put your people be above you, you know. So this process of self-love, I know it, it's, it sounds cliche and I, I hate it when psychics say it, myself included, but self-love is key to all these kind of relationships moving in the right direction. It's knowing that no matter how much you love your person, that you love yourself a little bit more and that you can you, you can make your own choices, you can make your own decisions. It's not all in their control, it's in your control as well. So try to rebalance your energies out in the best way that you can. Your outcome is there, the outcome is positive, but it's just a longer journey for you. It's a longer road of this period of separation. They are thinking about you. You are in your heart, their heart. They're not just going to wake up and suddenly you're going to be gone. It's not that easy. It's not that simple. And especially with a more spiritual connection, there's going to be dreams involved. There's going to be signs involved. There's going to be numbers involved. There's going to be all sorts of mushiness involved. You know, they're not just suddenly going to wake up on your birthday and, and not think of you. They will. They will still think of you, um, but they just need this time out from everything at the moment. It's been too much, it's been too intense, um, and they haven't known how to handle it, so they've been a bit of an idiot, um, and not really expressed to you what's going on, and that's left you feeling like the wayside, like you've been thrown under a bus. Some of them as well have said stuff to you that has made you feel that they have thrown you under a bus. They will backtrack and all of that, okay? They don't deliberately mean to hurt you. Um, but when they're in the midst of anger or passion or pressure, some people will just lash out or push away. And that's what's happened. You know, that's what's happened between you guys. With your mutual timing, you know, seven, it could be seven weeks, it could be seven months, it could be seven, well, it won't be seven years, seven weeks, seven months, two, two months, two weeks, two years. That there, there is no mutual timing between you all. It's very, very diverse between deck number two. Um, so don't get your knickers in a twist about it. Just relax with it all. Your outcome will come. Try not to overly stalk them on social media because you're just going to get upset. 
you know you will get upset about the situation um, just bear in mind that they are still thinking about you period of transformation there is a heart-centered energy here a strong strong pull towards you um, 10th of June is important to specifically one of you as well so they it's not like they haven't had you guys might be feeling that they've had their cake and eaten it and spirit is saying it's not that it, that isn't how um how to perceive it but what spirit are saying is don't settle for crumbs when you can have a whole cake okay um so they've you might feel that they took a piece of cake like they've had their cake and at it but spirit are saying to you don't settle for the crumbs you can have a whole cake okay this will get easier as time progresses your outcome is okay you know it is okay it's just going to take a bit of time for now cry for your tears scream shout hit your pillow try to distract yourself okay it will come back round when the time is right and if you need to look at individual timings or individual situations just give me a shout because again it's your strongest mutual energy so if you need me just drop me an email um also all the details are on the website uh Website's mysticlovetarot.com, email's mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I've also opened up a Facebook page and we've also still got Instagram going. So if you need me, just give me a shout, okay? It might take me a little bit of time to respond, um, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys. Um, I also do spirit just battering at me. I also do single questions rather than full video bookings. If you want your answer quite quickly, it's 24 to 48 hours. It's $11.11. So just give me a holler. All right, guys, heal your heart. Take your time for you, okay? Uh, I'll send you some lots, some healing energies tonight, I feel. Um, just kind of ease it up a bit. All right, guys, lots of love. Take care. Bye.